coming under the hammer now at Bygone Bargains, we've got this lovely um, antique mahogany bookcase top with glazed doors. It's a lovely, lovely piece of furniture. It's a good size. It's got fantastic shelving and adjustable uh, um, sides on the inside. So you can put the shelves in any combination that you want. It's, the wood is a lovely, rich, dark red mahogany. It could be a veneer. I think it is a veneer in place. Yeah, I think, I think so, yeah. Veneer, but I don't think yeah. And it's got this lovely sort of square edge. It's got very sharp lines and nice square edge bottoms and um, architecture bit on the top. Um, oh, tell me a bit. It does have a few little problems. The glazing on the doors. It's all intact. All the glass is still there. Yeah. But it is. Uh, There's no crack. It looks like it's the original glass. And as you say, so it is all there. And it's all... It's very nice for that, because quite often with these kind of patterns, you often get one piece that's broken. But the, um, the, the putty, for want of a better word, on the inside is coming away quite a lot. And some of these panes of glass, like on this one, it's missing around all those edges. And it is just coming away. We, I, I started cleaning this side up. It's not as clean as that side. But it's coming away and we don't want to damage it. I think if we need to transport it anywhere, we'll probably take those bits so that they're just kept in place. Yeah, um, yeah. But yes, it, it, uh, it certainly has. And I think in certain places you can see that the putty has already been replaced. Like yeah. down there and along that edge. If I were transporting, we could put a piece of cardboard right over the top of there and kind yeah. of sandwich it in, couldn't we? Yeah. So almost kind of wrap it before it gets moved. And, and their glass is discoloured where it's been heavily varnished or heavily polished. Yeah, I stuff. think it's maybe French polish. I think the, the kind of brownness of this bit on, on the glass that you can probably see. Yeah. Um, but uh, on this side, I have actually cleaned it off. So you can see it is possible to clean it off. It didn't take me very long. It cleans off nicely. Um, yeah, it yeah. does. It comes, it comes up nice. A little bit of something happened there. I don't know. Yeah, a bit of repair a work. A bit of repair work. Yeah, yeah, and there is a bit of repair work needs doing. There's a bit being done there. But there's one of these... Is loose and coming off. That one up there. there it go. needs. Yeah, either a bit of TLC. It needs a really. Bit of TLC. If it was me, I mean, it's got this lovely. It's got this lovely kind of brass edge down this door here, and it's got this lovely simple ornate keyhole here, and it has got closers on this door. They're stiff. But they they do, work. do work, but they are very, very stiff. They could do with a bit of treating, a bit of WD forty, and, and at the at bottom. bottom, they're both there. Um, and all very nice. Personally, I mean, when you look on the inside, there's some lovely shelves, and you've got these edges here, so that all of these shelves slide out, and they can be positioned so that you can put in whatever size books or bits and pieces you want and adjust those shelves. If it was me, that is exactly what I'd do. I would take these doors off, mm. because for me, they don't add that much to it and there's so many little problems with it that I just think take them off at their hinges okay you're gonna to have to accept that there's going to be three little chiseled out bits there but it is a magnificent bookcase with a beautiful and, and no worries we've got a bit of a hole in the back where the knots fallen off the wood I like that that's character for That's me, where I'd go with it. For me, I really like the doors. I think the doors finish it off beautifully. The wood on them just shines out. It is just a fantastic, beautiful, rich red mahogany. And I really like the style and the patterning on this glass. So for me, I think it's worth a little bit of uh, TLC that it needs to restore those panes back in. But there we go. You see, you've got two options there, depending on what you want it for and your taste. Absolutely. It's all down to taste at the end of the day. But... I just wanted to point out to people that if this cupboard wasn't your taste, well then, maybe this bookcase is. Yeah. So, a quality made bookcase, cabinet, glazed fronted cabinet with a lovely detailing. The back's nice and solid. Yeah. There's no evidence of any wormholes that I can see. No. It's good. It's a nice piece, this. Nice piece of furniture. It's a lovely piece of furniture at a bargain price. We get pieces of furniture like this or, or cupboard ones like the one in the corner there, Sue. And eventually, th that would fit on top, that would probably fit nicely on top of that one, actually. Yeah, what we've got to sell. So, we do sell things in other places, and if you're interested in this piece, our advice, as ever, is get a bid on, 